Oh, you got a cat. Yeah, sorry. Say hi, Bess. Oh my God, she always goes on to these recordings. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> One of those keyboard cats. Yeah. What do you do now? Uh, day to day. Yeah. Stay at home. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's flexible, you know, working from home now, so. Okay. Um, do you work for a company or? Yeah, I work for uh, like a international NGO. Is that how you ended up in Cambodia? Yeah. Yeah, I was supposed to be here for nine, nine months and then ended up okay. getting a contract with like my team. But, I, you know, it's always about the team and, like, you know, how well you get along with them. But, yeah, I love – my team's, like, my second family. They've seen all my shit. You know, like, the first three months I was here, I had, like, diarrhea. I had, like, really bad diarrhea. <laughs> Sorry, this is too much information. But, like, there was an instance where they went into the washroom with me. Like, we were on a road trip, a business trip or whatever to Siem Reap, which is where the temples are, and it's, like, five hours away. And we're on the way back, and I really needed to go. <laughs> and then, uh, and then they stop at some random like ga at the gas stations. They have these like pop up toilets, right? And it's kind of like a shack. And it was like pitch black, and they're like, "This is a washroom." So I asked my um, one of my coworkers to be like, "Can you come inside with me?" <laughs> and so she <laughs> stood there while I was doing my shit, you know, like. But everyone's really like cool, you know. It's not like. I think in Toronto, people are like, what the fuck? You know, what's happening? <laughs> Probably get fired from this like shit. Your culture shock. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds fun to move across the world, though. I've always, I thought about it before. It's like, it's like the idea, it's like the idea of I want to go somewhere else that I always thought about, but I just never, never done it before. Yeah. Where, like, if you were to move somewhere, do you have a place in mind? I guess I was I wasn't really kidding when I said I don't know if you remember this, but I said I was I want to get like a, one of those like home vans. Yeah. Like just to travel around. I, I want to get to that point where eventually I could just not work and do that. Or you can work from <laughs> like doing that, like. Except I don't want to work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying my best to retire as early as I can. What do you? Are you like? Um... Because I know a lot of friends in Toronto are investing in property or rental properties and whatnot. Are you doing that to retire or what's your plan? Yeah, that, that's exactly why I bought this place. It's just I, I want to be in the market as early as I can so then I can retire as early as I can, right? Yeah, everyone's working on that financial independence. It's good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The fact that I'm trying to retire is more like I, I'm trying to get to a point where I can take care of the people around me, right? Because, I, yeah. I mean, for me, it's like ever since I started working, I can already get most things that I want. Like, I don't know what else extra that I, I can really want for myself. So I'm trying to like take care of my family. I feel you. I guess you haven't thought about like settling down one place, right? I think in the next maybe five years, five or ten years, yeah. Um, but I don't know, right? Uh, it's hard to say. Uh, I don't know. I went through this thing where I was ready to like get married by like now. I'd be married by now if I was still with my ex, but like I don't know. I'm like glad it didn't happen in that sense, you know, because I'm here. Uh -oh. <laughs> I don't know. My mom is like that Asian type that tries to like introduce me to <laughs> her family friends. Yeah. How's that going? And I actually hate that. Like, I, I don't, I don't want, like, that's the last thing I want to do. Because <laughs> my mom thinks that she knows what my type is and she tries to like set me up with girls that I, she thinks I would like but I absolutely don't like she doesn't know the type of people that I like what what does your mom think your type is 
Well, she thinks that I would like somebody who's like really well put together, like very like quiet and 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 like I don't know, like proper, right? I don't know if yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. But I don't think that's my type, so I don't know. Yeah, you gotta have some ratchetness to you, you know. <laughs> yeah, I agree. That's actually pretty important. <laughs> well, no, it's like you gotta be real, like you know. You can't have someone that's, like, perfect, you know? Or not pro- perfect, but, like, always put together. Yeah, I feel you. And I guess I I think a pretty important thing is just, like, saying things in general. Like, be more open about things. I guess I, I just prefer if they're, like, extremely direct. Yeah. Like, yeah. sometimes if, if I talk to somebody and, and they're, like, slowly not messaging me back, I still think maybe there's still something. But I, I maybe, like, 99% of the time, they're probably just not interested. Mm. But I still can't tell, right? Like, I, I is it mixed messages? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, yeah I just hate it when girls do that, though. <laughs> it's, it's such, like, a mixed signal type of thing. I'll, I'll be sure to reply back to you quickly. <laughs> What are you eating? You Chicken made Parmesan. that? Oh, that looks so good. I wanted to cook more. Do you cook often? No, I don't. Oh, okay. Wow, so okay. You... So I used to I used to always live with a roommate. Mm. But after moving and I had my own kitchen, I started to cook a lot more. Nice. Apparently, you live on top of a club. Is that true? Uh, famous words have uh, been spreading the rumors. Before the quarantine started, a friend of mine just moved downtown. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and we were going to go to some sort of like K pop dance classes together. Oh my god, I want to see you do K pop. Oh my god. I used to be in a K-pop school club. It was a good time. So you danced? Yeah, terribly. (laughs) Show me. No, no. (laughs) But you already practiced. (laughs) That was years ago. That was when I was young. Please. What do you mean when you were young? I'm old now. (laughs) You know, my dad sent me this ad of this guy looking for a girlfriend and i was just like dude i'm 23 <laughs> like calm down that might be <sighs> my mom posting my ad who knows <laughs> my mom does that behind my back <laughs> i'm pretty sure that would be so fun you're 26 though that's so young you still got so much time and like i don't feel like you're the type to have trouble finding girls at all why would you say that? I think I think you're the type of guy that a lot of girls would secretly crush on and you'd probably have no awareness of that. You'd have no idea. Um, I don't know. I really don't. Yeah. But I also don't like to put myself out there too much. So. Mostly but because you... after I graduated, I was really focused on work and and careers and I didn't really think about it too much. Mhm. And even to this day, I, f- I feel good. Like, I- at no point in the last four years what ever felt I needed to be in a relationship. Mm-hmm. Even, to, even to now, I-, I still don't feel that way. Um, yeah, if it's like, if it, if it happens, it happens, right? Mm-hmm. I don't know if this is a, okay, I don't know if this is like a, like a fuckboy or a douchey thing to say, but. Oh, God. <laughs> Give it to me. <laughs> but I. I don't feel like I ever lacked attention, mm-hmm. so maybe that's why. See, I, I was, I was right. You get, you get girls so easily. So many girls are no, into no. you. It's not, now, no, it's not. No, no, don't even. I know exactly the type of guy you are, public in the public, and how no, girls no, no, see no, no. you. It's not, it's not like that. I'm a girl. It's just, I know. 
It's just I'll just put it as most girls are very friendly towards me. I'll just of leave course, because you're cute. <laughs> like I'm not even gonna. Oh, like you know, you're kind of good looking. Oh, you're cute. You're good looking. So obviously, girls wow. will. I'm very honest and blunt sometimes. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have to get used to it. Do you feel like when you meet someone for the first time, you are able to categorize them as? Yes, this is someone I could potentially date, or, and, uh, no, absolutely not, unfortunately. Yeah, I actually make that decision very quickly. Oh. Like if I talk to somebody in the first ten minutes, I'll probably make that decision. All right. What's the outcome of us three? Yeah. What do you think? I want to say probably not to all three. Why not? I have a feeling that B and Cheryl might be too wild for you. Okay, no. then never mind. I guess I take that back. I don't know my, what my answer would be. But no, I, I think your view of me is very off of what I actually think. All right. <laughs> All like, right. Like I'm so many shut up. So many things. <laughs> oh my God. No, but it's good to hear what you think though. Like. Versus what I actually think, right? It's like mm -hmm. what you think about me, but I realistically think it's fine if they're more wild and more open to that thing, right? So your answer would be yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Well, we asked ourselves this question in, in the guys chat, right? Like what, who will you be interested in? And I think I all told right. you this already and me and Andrew are said all of you guys, right? Okay. Okay. What I like about you is you, you're not the type to mislead anyone, I think. You're very honest and straight to the point. I don't know. We're so different. Like, you ask me all these things and I'll, I'll tell you what I think. And then I ask you about this thing. You're like, no, I, I can't tell you this. Can't tell you that. Okay, ask me. I will... Me? Yeah. I answer... I'm an open book too. I asked Ish. you like, can you sing this or can you do this dance? You're okay, like, that no, is not a that. question. That's like an act. Okay, so let's bad. see. Oh my god. Oh boy. What do you want? I don't know. Sing your favorite song. Oh, this chair is not meant to play guitar with. Um... Your voice is uh, too high for the song. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. meeting down me, they wash on me, I the Wow, okay. Keep going. I wasn't shaking. I'm so nervous. <sighs> What's up? Why are you sighing? No, nothing, nothing. Slightly nervous, but you know. Why are you nervous? I mean, you, you still seem like kind of a mystery to me a little bit, so. I'm an open book. Ask ahead. We're here for that. After this meetup, you'll be like, okay, yeah. Nah. <laughs> wow, wow. I mean, so far the impression I've gotten is that you're pretty bubbly. And then you did say a few things in the first meetup, how like you gave a lot to your last relationship. And then you're like, but never again. So it's like, okay, wait a second. <laughs> what is this? This sounds a little, a little dark. A little dark. It's like, it feels like there's more there. I don't know if you want to talk about it, but... Oh, uh, we can talk about it. He's a great guy. It's more just near the end of the relationship. There was a lot of lack of understanding. Um, and that caused a lot of problems, a lot of fights. And I was pretty miserable. And I would... 
I guess because we were long distance for so long, um, the whole doing things for the other became more of a materialistic thing where I would send him so many things, whether it be expensive or not, like, and we're both students, right? So it, it takes time to save up and to do this and to do that. Whereas it just didn't feel like he was nearly doing the same for me. Um, That's sad to hear. I just, at the end of the day, I felt like, is this someone I want to be with? for the rest of my life no well i date to sort of marry so let's not waste each other's time so i'm not saying like from now on i'm not gonna <clears throat> be nice to anyone i'm not gonna <laughs> okay. do anything you know it's not that it's, it's like much... wow she's an ice queen now no no um it's more just i have my guards a little higher now when it comes to uh getting into a relationship yeah, I can definitely empathize with that a little bit. <laughs> and I do also date with the intent to marry because, you know, I'm not getting any younger and it's like, why waste yeah. time with someone who's not going to have potential to grow with you? Exactly. The yeah. guy should feel like home more, so it, you should feel <laughs> like... Oh, that's so touching. <laughs> okay, that would be sarcastic. I mean... No, I know, I know. I'm not being sarcastic. It's, it's genuinely touching hearing that. <laughs> It's like one of those um, things you see on those Christmas cards that, you know, makes you warm up inside. Yeah, and I guess I'm a hopeless romantic where I do believe in, you know, being really, really into someone and being able to do so much for them. So, yeah. What about you? Yeah. Who are you leaning more towards right now? <laughs> you keep coming back to this. <laughs> well, I'm curious, and I'm here to ask questions, so... All right, all Let's right. go! Well, let's see, who do I... Or who, wait, who am I leaning towards? Mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, I'd have to say you. Really? You <laughs> barely know me. I don't know, just something about our talk. Like, as stupid as it is, the whole vibe thing does mean a lot. Like, honestly, when I first started getting vibes about leaning towards you, it felt more like a crush, to be honest. Just because you seemed really... What's a non-cheesy way to see this? Like, really cute and adorable at first, so it's like, wow, my heart's melting. Because you know? I didn't know anything you guys were talking about, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it wasn't just that. It's like the vibe I got. It seemed really heartwarming. For lack of a better term. I am heartwarming. Thank you. I appreciate it. But yeah, how about you? What are you leaning towards? Or who who are you leaning towards right now? Honestly, I have no idea. Like, my meeting with Andrew was... Like, showed me another side of him. Um... But I also did tell him that I don't know if I'm okay with the fact that he had cheated in the past and I wanted to be honest with him. Emery is an interesting character. I don't think I'm his type. Um, for you, I, I like our vibe. Um, I guess because we only started, I still need to get to know you deeper, better. Um, <laughs> oh, please don't say deeper right now. It's traumatizing hearing that. Oh my god. Okay, well, on a... I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sorry. All right. I'm going to go, but I had a lovely time as well. I'm very... I apologize for having to leave so early, but I will definitely talk to you very soon. Yeah. Oh, yes, I had a lovely time as well. I'm looking forward right. to our next one. Yes, me too. I'll see you then. All right. Take care. Bye. Good night. <laughs> Bye.